In this video, we are going to discuss about how to solve traveling salesman problem using branch and bound technique. What is branch and bound technique? It is a systematic method for solving optimization problems. It performs graph traversal on space state tree but general searches BFS instead of DFS. So to solve the any problem by using branch and bound technique first we have to draw the space state tree in the space state tree we have to perform bfs in order to find the answer other words we can say the branch and bound technique uses level order to find the answer so we will see how, how to solve traveling salesman problem using branch and bound I hope you know what is traveling salesman problem. So I am not discussing or explaining the problem. We are going to see the solution. So the graph would be given. First step we have to derive the adjacency matrix. Matrix representation of the graph. After deriving the matrix representation, we can find the answer of the uh, traveling salesman problem. Here, before discussing the solution first you will see how it is how it can be solved so first graph will be given from the graph we have to derive the matrix representation then we have to draw the space state tree how to draw it so we have the four nodes so four cities we have to select the source city for example i am selecting the city a is the source so the city A or node A is considered as a root node of the space state tree. Then what are the remaining nodes are available? B, C, D. So next level we are going to derive node B, C, D. Now in this level each node will have the cost. Node A, node B, node C, node D. All the node will have the cost. Now in this level we have to check the cost of B, C, D. Among this three node cost, we have to select the least cost. For example, if C is providing the least cost, we have to take C as for next direction. So from C, we have to go to the next level. So for example, we have started with the A, we have visited the C. What is the next two options available? B and D. So now we have to select B and D from C. In this level, we will get the cost for B and we will get the cost for D. From this two, we have to select the minimum cost. For example, D is giving the minimum cost. We have to select the D. So for here, A is started from a we have started from a to c we have visited c to d visited what is the next option b so from d we will go to the b from b again we will go to the a because in traveling salesman problem if we started from source city we have to end to the source city so from b we have to go to the node a so how we are going to find the cost we are going to find the cost based on the matrix. So here the node A will find the cost based on the this matrix. Node B, C, D will find the cost based on the A matrix. Node after that finding the cost of node B, C, D we have to take the minimum cost node then we have to go to the move to the next level. So in this example B and D is derived from the node C. So this B and D will get the cost with the help of the matrix C. Node B cost will be fine with the help of the matrix which will be given in the node D. Then if we finding the cost of the node A which will be get the results from the node B matrix. So all the nodes will be depends on its parents parent matrix so to clear understanding we are going to give the node number node 1 for a node 2 for b node 3 for c node 4 for d and so 
on so what is our first aim we have to derive the cost of the node 1 or node a how to derive the cost by using the this matrix we'll see how we are going to find it so this is the first step we have to do first we have to find starting point is a so we have to find the cost of this one how to find the cost to find the cost we have to reduce the matrix how can we reduce the matrix there are two reduction techniques are there one is the road reduction another one is the column reduction how we are going to reduction perform the reduction a yeah, row or column is said to be reduced if it is contains at least one entry zero in it so if the row is reduced means it should have minimum one zero if column is reduced means it should have minimum of one zero in this column okay we'll see how to reduce the matrix so row reduction consider the rows of given matrix one by one so what is the given matrix this is the given matrix which is derived from the graph so take the same matrix so i have taken the same matrix we have to consider the rows of the given matrix one by one so every row we have to consider one by one the row already contains an entry zero then there is no need to reduce that row so see there is a no zero so the meaning is it is not reduced here also no zero it is so it is not reduced here also no zero it is not reduced here also no zero it is not reduced so if it is does not contains d zero we have to reduce if the row does not contain an entry zero then reduce that particular row how to reduce select the least value element from that row so for each row we have to select the least value from this a row we have to select the least value what is the least value 4 from the row b we have to select the least value what is the least value 5 from the node uh, from the row c um, we have to select the least value that is the 6 here from the node uh, row d we have to select the least value that is nothing but 2 so for every row we have to find the least value subtract that element from each element of the row if you are selected 4 in this row we have to subtract 4 from all the element so infinity we no need to subtract here 4 minus 4 0 12 minus 4 8 7 minus 4 3 like that we have to subtract the least element from all the element so this will create the entry zero in that row the thus reducing that row so we'll see the example so this is the matrix given so in this matrix we are going to perform the row reduction so here there is a no zero is there so we have to find the minimum of each row so reduce the element of row one by four so this is the row one here no zero is there so what is the least value four so that is why we are calling reduce the row one by four then second row no zero is there in the row so select the least value what is the least value five third row no zero so select the least value the least value is six fourth row no zero select the least value least value is two after selecting this least value now we have to perform the subtraction how can we perform the subtraction we have to subtract the minimum value to the all the elements in row so what is the minimum value in the first row 4 so the result matrix will be infinity 4 minus 4 will get the 0 then 12 minus 4 will get the 8 7 minus 4 will get the 3 then what about the second row the second row you have selected 5 is the least value so 5 minus 5 will get the 0 leave the infinity as it is 18 minus 5 will get the 13 then go to the third row third row what is the least value 6 11 minus 6 will get the 5 then leave the infinity as it is 6 minus 6 0 and go to the fourth row what is the least value 2 10 minus 2 8 2 minus 2 0 
3 minus 2 1 then infinity so this is called as a row reduced matrix we are seeing here at least there will be a 1 0 in each row so here also 1 0 is there here also in this row 1 0 is there third row 1 0 is there fourth row 0 is there so this is called as a row reduced matrix so if what is the first step of the reduction perform the row reduce after performing the row reduce we have to perform the column reduce what is the column reduce if column is already contained an entry 0 then there is no need to reduce the column if the column does not contains an entry 0 then reduce that particular column select the least value element from the column how to perform the column reduce select the least value from the column subtract that element from each element of that column it is like a same like a uh, row reduction so which matrix we have to take that is very important for the column reduction we have to take row reduced matrix what is the row reduced matrix this is the row reduced matrix so take the same matrix and perform the column redu reduction how to perform the column reduction in the row reduced matrix see the column if there is any one zero no need to perform the reduction so i am going to take the first column in the first column there is a zero is there so no need to reduce the column one in the second column this is the second column there is a zero is there no need to do the reduction the third column there is a no zero so we have to select the minimum value what is the minimum value one in the fourth column there is a one zero is there no need to perform the uh, reduction so after find after this step what we have to do we have to subtract the the uh, least value in to the columns so first column no need to do the subtraction because we didn't select anything second column we no need to do the subtraction we didn't select anything third column we have selected the least value as a one so perform the subtraction subtraction so eight minus one will get the seven 1 minus 1 will get the 0. So you can see first column I didn't change anything because we are not doing the column first column I am not I am not doing anything because we are not doing any column reduction second column also I am not doing anything because second column also we didn't select the least value third column I have selected 1 so 8 minus 1 will get 7 1 minus 1 will get 0. Fourth column also we didn't select anything. So leave as it is. So this is the column reduced matrix. So first in the given matrix we have performed the row reduction and the column reduction. Now we have to find the cost of the node 1 that is nothing but node A. How to find the cost? So we have to sum all the reduction element. What are the reduction element? In the previous slide we have the Four reduction element 4 5 6 2 from the row reduction so we have to sum this four value 8 12 17 then what about the column reduction in the column reduction we are having the one value that is nothing but 1 so 17 plus 1 this 4 5 6 2 these are taken from the row reduction plus 1 is taken from the column reduction so we will get the cost is 18 so how i am finding the cost of the first node first i am doing the row reduction second i am doing the column reduction then i am adding the all the redu reduction element then i am getting the cost now i have done the i have found the cost of the node 1 or node a now i am going to find the cost of the node 2 what is the node 2 b that is a step 2 we consider all other vertices one by one so what are the vertices three vertices we are having we select the best vertices we select the best vertex where we can land up land upon to minimize the tour cost so from the three vertex we are going to select the minimum cost vertex so choosing to go to vertex b from where
where we are going a to b so from the reduced matrix of step 1 what is the reduced matrix this is the reduced matrix so from the reduced matrix of step 1 find the a comma b so this is the reduced matrix i have taken from the previous slide you have to find a comma b what is a comma b why i am taking a comma b we are moving from a to b so i am taking a comma b what is a comma b zero so keep it in your mind take a comma b and keep it separately we will use it later and set row a and column b is infinity why i am taking row a and column b is infinity i am going from a to b so i am setting row a that is the first row is infinity you can see first row is infinity and column b this is the column b i am setting column b is infinity then set m b comma a in the matrix i have to set b comma a what is b comma a b comma a is zero set infinity i am setting infinity you may ask why i am setting b comma a we should not go in the reverse direction b to a that is why i am setting b comma a is infinity so first i am taking the previous step matrix in this step matrix i am storing the one value that is a to b value and i am setting the a and a row and b column is infinity a row and b column is infinity then i am setting b comma a is infinity so this is the matrix i am getting from this matrix we are going to do the row reduction and column reduction how to perform the row reduction we have to check the row if the row is having at least one zero no issue if it is not having zero we have to select the minimum cost so this is the matrix taken from the previous step so here the row first row does not have any value so we no need to select anything second row having the value it does not have zero so select the minimum value what is the minimum value 13 so select 13 third row having zero so no need to redu reduce fourth row having zero no need to reduce so from the row reduction we have selected only one value after selecting the value we have to do the subtraction so first row no need to do the subtraction second row we have to do the subtraction we have to subtract the minimum value from the all the elements so here three infinities are there we no need to perform the subtraction so here 13 minus 13 will get the zero third row no need to do the subtraction since no least value fourth row no need to do, do the subtraction since there is no least value so this is the row reduction matrix or row reduced matrix next we have to do the column reduction what is the column reduction we have to check the each column if column is having zero no issue if column is does not have zero we have to reduce the matrix see here here the first column is having zero no need to reduce am i right no no sorry we have to take the row reduced matrix this is the row reduced matrix check the first column first column does not have any zero so we have to select the minimum value what is the minimum value 5 so 5 is selected second column uh, does not have value at all so no need to select the least value third column having zero so no need to select the least value fourth column having zero so no need to select the least value here we have selected only one least value from the column one that is five after that we have to subtract the least value from the column one so here five minus five zero eight minus five three so this is the column reduced matrix so from this matrix we have to find the cost how to find the cost here you have to remember this formula to find the cost of intermediate node okay what is the intermediate node a to b we are visiting so that is the intermediate node what is the formula cost 2 equal to cost 1 what is the cost 1 the cost of node a what is the cost of node a 18 plus sum of reduction element 
what is the sum of reduction element here 13 plus 5 that is nothing but 18 and m matrix of a comma b here i ask you to remember the one value a comma b why a comma b we are moving from a to b that is nothing but zero so zero so add this three value we will get the 36 so the cost of the node 2 is 36 and resultant matrix is this one that is a column reduced matrix i have taken the same thing so what is the next step we have done we have to do now i have calculated the cost of the b that is a node 2 i have then i have to calculate the cost of the node c that is nothing but node 3 how i can find the same procedure from the reduced matrix of step 1 that is a from the node 1 matrix we have to take a comma c why a comma c we are moving from a to c so we have to take the a comma c a comma c is nothing but 7 so we are taking as a 7 then set row a and row c is infinity why row a and row c we are moving from row a uh, node a to c so set node a set row a row a, this is the row a so set row a is infinity and set column c is infinity so this is the column c so we are setting the column c is infinity then set c comma a is infinity why we should not go in reverse order that is why we are setting c comma a what is c comma a 5 set this 5 also infinity so this is the node 1 matrix or a matrix from this matrix we are setting the sum values are infinitive so we have done this one now we have to reduce this matrix to find the cost of the node 3 or node c how to reduce the matrix we have to do the row reduction and column reduction so this is the resultant matrix from the previous step from this step this step so i have taken this matrix here i am going to perform the row reduction so see how to find the row reduction we have to check the zeros zeros in the row so for the node row 1 no zero no values are there no need to reduce node 2 one zero is there no issue node sorry row 3 one zero is there no issue row 4 one zero is there no issue so no need to perform the row reduction we'll go for the column reduction check the zeros in column one zero is there no issue and here check the next column one zero is there no issue check the next column one there is no value at all so no need to reduction and next column there is a one zero is there no need to reduce so we will get the same matrix as a node 3 matrix we, we no need to perform row reduction and column reduction then after getting the node 3 we have to find the cost how we will find the cost by using the formula we have to take the cost 1 that is a node 1 cost why node 1 cost we are deriving the node 3 cost by node 1 that is why we are taking the node 1 cost plus sum of reduction of reduction element here no reduction element so it is nothing but 0 and matrix of a comma c a comma c is 7 so 7 so it is nothing but 25 so 25 is the cost of the node c or we can say node 3 okay what is the next step we have to find we have completed node b node c now we have to find the a to d so what is the procedure first we have to take the a comma d value what is the a comma d value 3 from where we can take this is the node 1 matrix node 1 matrix we have to take a comma 3 a comma 
a comma d a comma d is 3 so we have to store the a comma d then set row a and column d is infinity so in the node 1 set the row a and column d is infinity and set d comma a is infinity d comma a is infinity so this is the resultant matrix now what we have to do we have to perform the row reduction and column reduction so in this matrix we have to perform the row reduction so how can we find the row reduction take the same matrix find the zeros in each row here no zero is there so no problem here no one zero is there no problem here one five is there no zero so here we have to do the reduction so select the least value what is the least value five so here i have selected the least value five then the fourth row also we no need to perform zero is there so now we have to reduce the uh, reduce the third row here five minus five i will get the zero after doing the row reduction we have to do the column reduction check this column zero is there no issue check the second column zero is there no issue check the third column zero is there no issue check the fourth column zero is not there but all are infinity no need to do the column reduction so this is the final node 4 matrix so from the node 4 matrix we have to find the cost how shall we find the cost the same formula cost of 4 equal to what is the previous node of node 4 node 1 so cost of node 1 that is nothing but 18 plus sum of reduction element what is the sum of reduction element 5 5 plus a, a comma d a comma d is nothing but 3 so 3 equal to 26 now we have found the cost of the next level node that is nothing but b is b cost is 36 and c cost is 25 d cost is 26 among this three which one is smallest 25 so we have to go to the next path through c now here we have to note it down we are doing the bfs first we are starting from a then we are completing the full level level here all the nodes in this level then we are going to the next level that is why we are saying branch and bound is using the bfs or level order now we no need to bother about the b and d we are going to only concentrate on a to c from a to c we are going to explore the other node so what is the next possibility now we have completed a to c from a to c we have to go either b or d so first we will explore the b from where we will get the answer cost of the b from the c so what is the resultant matrix of c that is nothing but node 3 you may remember this is node 1 node 2 node 3 node 4 now we are this we will find the node 5 node 6 so node 5 node 6 will derive from the node 3 why b is we are moving to the b from c that is why we are concentrating on node 3 so this is the node 3 matrix so what is the steps we have to do we have to set some rows and column is infinity then we can go for the row reduction and column reduction so we are going to the a to c c to b that is why i written the node 5 is a to c c to b so what we have to find we are moving from c to b so find the c to b c to b c to b is infinity so store, keep it in your mind c to b is infinity what is the next step we have to set c row and b column is infinity so in this matrix c row and b column is infinity so c row b column is infinity then what we are doing we are setting b comma a is infinity why we should not go in reverse order b to a that is why we are setting b comma a is infinity this is the b comma a 
so we are setting this is infinity after that we have to go for the row reduction and column reduction so row reduction we have to find the minimum one zeros in row so we'll go to the row reduction so this is the matrix from this matrix we have to find the row reduction so first row no values are there so no problem second row one value is there and there is no zero so select the least value least value is 13 so keep it in your mind take the 13 third row no values are there leave it fourth row 8 is there but there is no zero so keep it the keep 8 separately after finding the least value we have to subtract the least value in the respective row so in the row 2 I am subtracting 13 minus 13 so I will get the 0 in row 4 I will subtracting 8 minus 8 I will get the 0 so this is the row reduced matrix what is the next step column reduced matrix what is the column reduced matrix we have to find the at least one zero in column okay so here we are having the one zero here that is a no values at all here that is a no values at all so for this two column we no need to reduce here d we are having one zero so all the columns are having minimum value so we no need to perform the column reduction so what we have to do we have to find the cost how do we find the cost here we have to understand we are finding the cost of b b is depending on c so node 5 is depending on node 3 so cost 5 equal to cost 3 plus sum of reduction of element so there is a no element in column reduction in the row reduction we are having two value 13 plus 8 that is why we have written 13 plus 8 plus c comma b what is c comma b c comma b is infinity so anything plus infinity will get the infinity so the value of b is infinity what is the next thing we have to do we have to find a to c c to d that is a node 6 node 6 a to c c to d so first what we have to do we have to take matrix of C comma D. What is matrix of C comma D? So from which matrix we have to take? From the node 3. So this is the node 3. So C comma D is infinity we have to take. And set C row is infinity and D column is infinity. So D column this is the D column. So D column is infinity. And in the reverse order D to A. D to A is infinity. So set d to a this is the d to a is infinity after finding this matrix we have to perform row reduction and column reduction so here c to d is c to d is zero it is not infinity this is the node three c to d is zero by mistake i have written here c to d is infinity actually this is the zero c to d is zero we have to please note it down c to d is zero c to d is zero by mistake i have written infinity then after that what we have to do we have to do the row reduction and column reduction so check the rows here 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 there is a no values so no need to bother here we are having one zero so no need to select the least value here no values no need to select the least value here no here we are having one zero so here no need to select the value for the row reduction no need to perform the row reduction here first column is having one zero so no need to select the least value second column is having one zero so no need to select the least value third column does not have any value at all no need to select the least value fourth column also does not have any value at all so no need to select the least value so we no need to perform row reduction and column reduction we can find the uh, cost of this matrix that is a node 6 so node 6 is depends on node 3 
node 6 is depends on node 3 so what is the cost of node 3 the cost of node 3 is 25 plus sum of reduction element here there is no reduction element 0 plus c comma d c comma d is 0 0 so i am writing the cost is 25 so the node 6 is 25 so what is the value we got from node b we got the infinitive node d we got the 25 among these two which is the minimum value 25 so we will select the d so what is the path we got a to c c to d what is the remaining node is available d we have to move from d next node is nothing but a, a to c c to d d to b from the node 6 we are going to find the node 7 that is nothing but b so from node 6 we are going to find so take the node 6 matrix so what we are finding d to b so take the d to b what is d to b 0 so note the d to b then what we have to do set the row d is 0 so this is the row d d is infinity set the row d is infinity then column b is infinity so set the column b is infinity and we have to take the reverse order b to a so b to a also set it as infinity b to a this is also set it as infinity now we have to find the row reduction and column reduction so this is the resultant matrix after setting the rows and column is infinity so here no values are there so we no need to perform the row reduction or column reduction directly we can go for the calculation so we are finding the cost of the node 7 what is the cost of node 7 equal to it depends on node 6 so we have to take the cost of the node 6 plus sum of the reduction element there is a no element is there so 0 plus dbm matrix of db matrix of db is 0 so it's nothing but 0 we got the 25 then what is the next step we have to do we have to go to the source city that is nothing but b to a a to c c to d d to b and again we have to go to b to a b to a is also a 25 minimum cost of this problem is 25 units so you may understand we are take we are finding the cost of the each node from the previous node that means previous node matrix so how we are finding the cost of the a from the given graph how we are finding the cost of the b from the node 1 matrix how we are finding the cost of the c node 1 matrix how we are finding the cost of d node 1 matrix how we are finding the cost of this node node c how we are finding the cost of d by using this matrix like that we are going how we are finding the cost of every matrices first step we have to set the particular row 1 column is infinity and the reverse order also infinity then we are performing the row reduction and column reduction what is the row reduction the particular row we have to find the zero value if zero is not there find the least value then subtract the least value to the from the all the other elements the same way we have to do the column reduction after that we have to find the cost of the node by using the formula thank you